Hello. The purpose of this video is to document the installation of a whole house surge suppressor. Today's modern homes will benefit from one of these devices mounted right at the entrance panel. Everything from your personal computer, flat screen TV, home electronics, microwave ovens, and even your refrigerator would benefit from one of these devices. Now the device I chose is the Square D HEPD80. Square D is a very reputable manufacturer and have been around forever. So I bought their 80,000 amp model. Now it will take repetitive surges of 10,000 amps without damage to the device. There are two pilot lights on the device when it's active that will show you whether each leg of your service is protected by the device. Now, in the interest of time, I went ahead and did a few steps, but they're very easy to show, and I think anybody can do it. So the first thing I did is I took the surge suppressor and I put it in a, a hole that I made in one of the knockouts. So I punched the knockout out and then I installed the uh, suppressor and spun the nut down and tightened it up. The next thing I did is I planned where I was going to attach the two hot wires and cut them to length. I also took the neutral and ground and tied it to the neutral bus bar. Now, there should be two on each side of the panel. There's one here and there's one here. And they correspond to each of the breakers here and over here. The installation instructions call for cutting the wires as short as possible and making gradual bends in the wire. You don't want tight bends. Now the instructions call for inserting the wire in an existing breaker. Preferably those breakers should be 30 amps with a 20 amp minimum. Now I don't have anything nearby where I installed the suppressor. So I went out and I bought a new double pole 30 amp breaker. It was $10 and it really wasn't a big deal. So that's what I did. Here's the breaker I chose. It's an Eaton 30 amp breaker and it's compatible with my uh, panel. So in, installing it's very easy. It's off right now. So you just insert it and then push down. Now that breaker has been tied to each leg of the 120 volts. So you can see the legs here. That bar is one side, that bar is the other side. So if you went down the row of breakers, this would be one side and then the other side. And that is a 220 volt breaker. And then they alternate going down left side, right side, left side, right side. With the breaker installed, it's now time to attach the wires. And it's simply a matter of inserting the wire under the screw and then tighten the screw down. So let's see if I can do this while I'm holding it. Just take the wire. Now remember the breaker is off. So you just take the wire and you put it under the screw you take the other one and you do the same thing. Take a screwdriver and tighten them down. Now double check your work by grabbing the wire and giving it a tug. Everything is down tight. Now go ahead and throw the breaker. It's now on. So if you come over here and look at the surge suppressor, you'll see 
that it's indicating that both legs are currently being protected. Should one of the legs be blown out by a, a surge, that light will go off and it'll immediately tell you that one side or possibly both sides of the device have been damaged and it's no longer protecting your house. So that's about it. This is the Square D, right there, Square D HEPD80. Very easy to install. If you can replace an outlet or a switch in your house, you can put one of these things in. Thanks for watching.